Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Sunday afternoon, the Mets lost their third straight in Washington as they were blown out by the Nationals 14 to 1. Carlos Torres made his third start for the Mets. Mm -hmm. First two against the Phillies and Braves were very good. This one, not so good. It was just one of those cases where ground balls were finding holes, the <clears> balls that they hit were dropping in from the outfield with some timely big hits. Uh, the home run by or the grand slam was a pitch that I thought was in and I thought it actually tailed too far in and he hit it out. We were very surprised and you know they they also have been you know they've been struggling over there and so you can you know you know they got a good club but uh, when you bounce when they bounce back like that it's obviously we made some you know just some bad pitches. They definitely hit some of my pitches but they definitely hit some of those mistakes also. I think the first Ramos hit where he hit it over uh, Murphy was just mistake pitch. Uh, mistake pitch to Desmond to let off with the double. So there's definitely some mistakes in there, and those are the things that uh, the work in between innings or in between games, I mean, is that's where I'm going to work on it. Yeah, he was not good. Three innings, eight runs, nine hits, and uh, early and often they got to him. Uh, but no one was saved. Uh, the entire bullpen gave up runs other than Josh Edgen, who had a one, two, three inning. So uh, not good pitching today, and the Mets offense really has fallen flat the last three games. You know, it's been. It's Kind of a constant thing that we've we've fought for a lot of the year is the lack of run production, um, but we've been winning games because we've pitched and allowed allowed us to get chances. But well, when you get way behind, you know you can't be very aggressive on the bases, and, and it kind of changes the way you play. We'll go right back to the first night. You know this, the uh, you know that second game. You know we should have, that was a game we we certainly had every reason to win that game, and I think. Uh, you know, having them come back and win the ball game probably took the starch out of this whole series. But we got to pick it up and get into Miami and, and play better and certainly pitch better than we did today. Only one run in each of the last three games after that 11 nothing win on Friday afternoon. For the Nats, they had some awesome performances. <laughs> Wilson Ramos, who seems to kill the Mets every time he faces them, his first career grand slam, five RBIs. They also had two players with four hits. Yeah, Span had four hits. Ian Desmond had four hits. Worth had a couple hits. Zimmerman, who always seems to have three hits against the Mets. So uh, they had 18 total for the day. So the Nats... Uh, uh, clicking on all cylinders yeah, today. Rookie Taylor Jordan gets his first big league win with six solid innings for Washington. So they take three out of four in this series. Knock the Mets down to ten games under 500. Now the Mets go to Miami for the first of four with Jeremy Hefner on the mound on Monday night. Our coverage begins with Cadillac first pitch on Monday night from Miami at six o'clock. That'll do it for WB Mason Post Game Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.